We start this episode with myself, walking home from training. But little did I know, someone would be waiting. Someone was following me. If you watched last episode, you'd fully understand why. But I had a feeling something like this could be coming. So I wait for my moment, and I struck. And somehow, some way, I managed to take him down, escape, and go straight to the police station, man. I didn't want this coming back to me. I didn't want to be blamed again for being correct. Because that's what happened last time. So that's exactly what I went on and did. I knew who sent this man. Ronaldo. He was after me yet again. He wanted the job finished. But little did he know, so did I. Whilst he was tracking me down, I was tracking him down. His attempt failed. While well, mine was getting ready to succeed. Erling Haaland, your Ballon d'Or winner, actually does not surprise me. I would not win it. We were basically out for half a season. Things are not looking good with Villa. We may be the top goal scorer in the Premier League, but we are 19th in the table, man. What, has that ever happened before? I, like, honestly, comment section, places that ever happened, a player won the Golden Boot, top goal scorer, but being, what, bottom of the league, like, with their club? Yeah, probably not, right? I don't know, maybe, but that's what we're doing right now, and... This season is basically going to turn into a battle against relegation. Hey, I'm just trying to get back on my feet this season after missing a full year. At least Villa gave me a chance, right? Oh, well, I'm not getting paid much, but I'm still scoring banging goals like this right here. Yes, Villa is literally paying me nothing. I was debating on leaving, and I still might leave this video. There's a good chance we do leave and go to a new club in the January transfer window. One of the last clubs over the January transfer window opens, and we are showing out. I genuinely think we could move to any club in the world. People have seen that we are yet again this all-star caliber, caliber player, and genuinely, I think we could move wherever. So it was time to figure out our options and head in to request a transfer. And here is basically what I said, what I asked for. I said, you either transfer me or you give me a big contract. I am getting paid nothing as a pro footballer. And basically, no. What's the straight answer? I'm not giving you either. They didn't want to list me. They didn't want to give me a raise. After all I've been doing for this club, do you want me to help you survive relegation? Well, turns out Villa, very, very, very short on money. And they needed me to stay up this year, but they couldn't pay me. So they won't list me because they want me to help them survive relegation, but they won't give me a raise. I'm pissed, bro. I, I just stormed out. I was like, are you kidding me? Is this really the situation where we're at right now? <sighs> you know what? It may end up coming down to, to my agent who didn't put a release clause on my transfer offer, which is brutal. Of course, I signed a new agent after my old agent made this last contract. My new agent... It's Kareem Benzema, man. He said there's no options. You just got to survive this year. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to survive it with some friends. After the incident earlier in this video, bro, we need security, man. I need people following me around at all times. My life is crazy right now, man. I'm not taking any more risks. And I need to just be able to focus on football. And once this season's over, we go out and find Cristiano Ronaldo. So... That's exactly what we're going to do. I got these security guards following me around, though. And we are back into it, boys. Look at this cinematic top goal scorer coming out of the bus. That is crazy, man, that we are actually the top goal scorer in the league after not playing an entire season. Craziness. All right, Spurs, check out this lineup right here because it's absolutely incredible. Saliba, they have Davies, they have Gravenberch, they have Kudos, they have freaking Marcus Rashford at striker. What is this Spurs team, man? It's actually a madness of a, a starting 11 for Spurs, and we're into it. Looking basically just to secure points right now. This team is not going to make any sort of movement in the table besides staying up in 
man all of these games it's just points dropped after points dropped yes i'm simming a lot of games off camera you guys know how this series works i do not play every game if i played every game we'd be in season two right now man so we tried to get through these seasons as quick as possible this season will actually end today which is crazy so you are gonna see whether we survive relegation or not and look at this kunate to be honest i had no idea he was even on our team bro i'm so oblivious to my teammates here at aston villa this one though is it actually going to be a W? 2 1. I'm not really doing much this one. I honestly, I mean, two goals in the first game was incredible, but this game, 2 1, I really didn't do much of anything here. Boys, we'll take a W though. Points that are going to help us hopefully stay up. That is the goal. And check this out, boys. We may not be winning the Prem anytime soon, but the FA Cup. We are one of eight teams that remain. So Villa, a chance to go on and win this. Down to Liverpool, 1-0. They sub me in, now we're down 2-0. <laughs> Honestly, as soon as I came on, we concede. Is that my fault? Hopefully not. This was just Loki, a banging goal right here. And our keeper maybe kind of, sort of should have done better. I'm in here, though, looking to get more golazos. But I was struggling this second half of the season. Ever since I wanted that transfer request, things have slowed down. But for my teammates, they've just picked up. Look at this strike. Oh, my God. If we stay up, I mean, low-key, my teammates have been doing more than me this second half of the season. I've still been doing well, but a bit unlucky with chances like this. 82nd minute. Can we equalize? Can we send this thing to extra time? We can. There it is. Villa 2-2. Two -two. What an absolute madness, boys. We get subbed in. We concede. And then we score two unanswered goals. I don't score two. My teammates score two second half comes to a close and the extra time period would fly by in the blink of an eye we're going to penalties to see who goes to the fa cup semi-final if you know me i've struggled with pens throughout my entire career and this one is a no doubter bro top corner banger and this one was just a it was a weird shootout man goalkeepers were not on their game penalties were going straight into the corners and literally the keepers just weren't able to react because these penalties were so good i've never seen anything like it perfect placement perfect strikes Saka up to take it he's now apparently on liverpool he's even burying this one bro it was a madness but the first save there it is allison it's a great one and Torres comes up for it. Torres on Liverpool makes it. We need a save here, or we need a goal here to keep us in this. A goal and then a save. And it is up to our number 20 who buries it. Now we need this save. A huge one. If it is not saved, it's over. And it's Llorente on Liverpool who buries it, man. Five straight pens for Liverpool. And we're out of the FA Cup. And I'm not even going to lie, man, I'm proud of the boys because we were not even projected to be this far in the tournament. But here we are. We made it. And it's a penalty shootout. It could have went either way. It's an out, man. I'm disappointed for the fans. I'm not disappointed for the management because I shouldn't even be on this team right now if it was up to me. But I gave him my all, man. Even though I do not want to be on this club, I wish I would have transferred. I'm no quitter, bro. I tried my best. It's an out, though. So we've simmed a bit. Final game of the year. And Villa is in relegation zone. 34 points. But here's the catch. We win the final game of the season. And we stay up. All comes down to this. What is going to be my final game in this stadium. My final game with Villa. I just mentioned it, man. I don't want to be here. I wanted the transfer. But I need to get this done. For my legacy. If I want to go down as one of the greatest players of all time, I can't be someone who got relegated, especially in the prime of their career. Yes, this is a different season with different circumstances. We have gone for World Cups. We've gone for Champions Leagues. We've gone for everything. Will we be able to survive relegation? Well, we are about to find out for Villa. Oh man, here we go. Aston Villa, Watford. This is going to be a madness. Winner stays up. If we win, we're up. Watford, if they lose, they're going straight down. We will take their place. There's a chance, bro. We can finish relatively not high up, but like 
towards mid-table because there were a lot of teams fighting against relegation on this final day. Here we go. It's time to have a crazy one, and that we would, at least at the start. Good goal, and it's not even coming from myself. I'm telling you, in this second half of the season, your boy Davenport was a bit irrelevant, which could end up hurting my transfer value, but we'll talk about that later as this one, incredible strike. It is a one goal lead. It could potentially be two as we are taking a shot missing, but our teammate, I'm telling you, follows it up. It's been all them. I've done nothing. I've been irrelevant. I shouldn't even be out here right now. That's how bad I've been playing. But my teammates are carrying the load. They are leading the troops, and it's another one. It's 2 0. We're so close, man. A win, and we stay up 3 0 now, and another one that doesn't come from myself. 70th minute. This has to be it. We have to be staying up right now. We cannot blow a three goal lead in 20 minutes. No chance. No way it's happening, and no way it would. Villa have stayed up, bro. We've done it. We've helped them survive relegation. Now it's time to get the hell off this team, man. At least next season, I'm done. I've had enough. I want to go for Champions League, so I'm not trying to survive relegation every year. I'm happy I could do it for them. Although, yes, please. I, I want to leave ASAP. Immediately. Look at this, boys. We finished 16th. There it is. Oh, my God. What a feeling it is to stay up. And now it's time for the offseason, boys, where things are about to get, well, crazy. On the way home from the match... Filling up on some gas and preparing for this long season that awaits. It's going to be a madness. It's going to be crazy. And it's already starting. Because I got a phone call. They know where Cristiano Ronaldo is. He's been found. And I'm going straight there. I'm not wasting any time. I've been waiting for this moment. The man tried to ruin my life. He tried to put me in prison forever and now it's time to get some sweet sweet revenge and it took a while to get there man we're talking hours upon hours hidden out in the most secluded place that one could think of but this is where i got the word where he was hiding out it's time to get my revenge but how will i do it i've not alerted anyone that i was doing this i'm not alerted any friends teammates not even the police. I need to do this on my own. Boys, it's gonna happen. I'm going to kill Cristiano Ronaldo.